I'm just curious to know who told him that I was sleeping with Corey. My daughter had the time of her life today. And that was the farthest thing on my mind. And and to be real with you guys, um, Darren slept with a girl named Becky on my bed. Um, it was the same home that we had Chloe in. It was the same home that we brought both of our kids home because we were both DCF involved. Um, it was a very special house to me, and um, he brought a whole other female inside of my bed and slept with her. So, I know two wrongs don't make a right, but I hit Corey up, and I did go all the way with the situation. Um, I woke up the next morning. I felt disgusting. I knew it was a mistake, and I can't count on it all ten fingers how many times he slept with somebody else, with me. My one time showed me it was a mistake, and his plethora of time showed him that it was okay. So, I don't feel bad about it. Because if he loved me, he would have never done it over and over and over and over and over again. He's already told me, like, it's me or Corey. There's no room for both. I was trying to Sam, and I hung out with Corey, and Corey was actually in tears. And he told me that every time I get back with Darren, I ghost him, and all he wants is his daughter. And that made me feel like shit. I'm realizing that the older that she gets, guys, and that's why I'm pushing so hard for a relationship with the two of them. She has so much fun, you guys. She looks just like him. Her smile's just like him. They act the same. They laugh the same. They think the same. And when Darren stares, it's just like a blank stare. It's more like a a prasad that he puts on. Oh, I'm your dad, so I'm just going to pretend. But it treats it sound way better than he could ever treat Riley because he's blood. I just went out of this marriage. And it's hard, you guys. I'm emotionally drained. Emotionally fucking drained. I'm so. I just hope it's not too late. Because I would 
and me and control me in her. I think I'm going to go to church tomorrow. I'm going to hit the pews and ask God what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, in order to invite me over to the RV so we could talk. We all know what that means. He will not touch me again. You know, what's crazy is, is I haven't laughed that much in a long time just being around Corey. I don't laugh with my husband. It's complete silence. We don't laugh. We don't play. It's work. Talk about work. Maybe F-U-C-K. And then he goes to sleep. He doesn't watch a movie with me. Very rarely buys me flowers. Thank you.